wonder if someone might have a use for these. She has a suitcase full of baby clothes and she's demanding grandchildren. My family's screwed up. They're losers and I can't help them. Why would I want to be responsible for more failures? So no kids. Not now, not ever. Banana skin was, TK could have been seriously injured. Well, if you want me to apologize again, I will. If you want me to stand on the bar and humbly offer my unconditional apology, I will in my undies if it makes uh, you feel I any better. I'm over it. So am I. We are the laughing stock. At least it shows we have a sense of humor. I'm the first to admit that it's better to acknowledge when you've stuffed up. Hey, did my father slink away in shame? He said he wanted to get an early night before the conference. But basically, yeah. Hurrah. Once again, I've fulfilled my father's expectations, and tonight I intend to go large up for a big night. I suppose I could have one more. Excellent suggestion. Mm. <sighs> Banana daiquiri's on me. Where'd go, sweetheart? Name? Chloe Blackwell, 30th of May 1990. Hey, sleepyhead. Hi there, Maya, isn't it? August 24, 1980. Just threw a spirit on for you. Down the hatch. Thanks, mate. You have a nice day, eh? Thanks. bowed last night. He cares what you think. My son has never cared what I think, other than to use my values as a guide what not to do. He's a different man to you. He's a boy. He's still a boy. I was hoping once he actually started practicing he'd grow up, but... He has grown up. He just hasn't fossilized into a pompous old toad. He's a first-rate doctor. Yet, if he shows that he still has a sense of fun, that's it. You condemn the whole person. I don't condemn him. I wish the best for him. However, being fossilised, I realised that if you act the goat, people don't take you seriously. And if you're not taken seriously, nothing that you say matters. It's what you do that matters. And you almost told him you were proud of him last night, but you didn't. I'm not proud of him when he acts like a 15-year-old. You should be proud of him. He's a good man. If he's a good man... Why didn't you marry him? Hey. Hi. Did you get any sleep? Not much, you. Same. About last night. <coughs> morning. And good morning to you both. Did you sleep OK? Very well, thank you. Good. What would you like for breakfast? Oh, anything you are having. And there you are, all ready for work. I'm very proud, you know. My daughter married a man who works so hard caring for others. Yeah, I do my best. I know you do. I will make some tea. I'm off. I'll see you later. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you for saying that about Scotty. I'm proud of him, too. I hope he knows that. And you? Did you sleep well? Fine, thanks. Uh, 
I never joined Jigsaw in my life until I got stuck in here. Same. Not since I was a kid, at least. Chloe. Maya. You're looking on the wrong side, by the way. Sorry? Well, they don't put them on the front. They don't put what? Messages. You have to turn them over. And it's in tiny, tiny writing. Hey, messages? About what's going to happen. So we know what we have to do. Um, we need to start looking. If we don't find it, we could get left behind. Well, do you want to be stuck here in this place with these people? I've actually checked all of these ones and there's no messages on them. Are you sure? They're right so tiny. Mm, I'm sure. But we just make up the jigsaw together, eh? Why are you trying to stop me? No, I'm not. I just thought we could... Randomised electronic pulses produce stochastic resonance to restore chaos to normal neurological functioning. But, of course, finding the quality random numbers is the trick. That and getting people to let you stick wires in their brains. You want to restore chaos to epileptic brains. I thought epilepsy was chaotic nerve firing. Well, regularity is good for clocks and train timetables. It's bad for brains and universes. Our bodies need chaos to live and function. How can you be the head of a research unit and be so ignorant of basic science? Oh, yeah, Chris, get your act together. All sorted to give you a talk? Absolutely. Using ultrasound to assess trauma. <laughs> In all fruit or just bananas? Fruit, vegetables, packet and tin goods. I wanted to ask you about sonography. Oh, yeah, if I can help. I have a patient, a Mr. Pricot. A Pricot. I'm wondering if he has a stone. Uh. <laughs> Is it okay for going right now? Yeah, I'm good here. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Now, please. I'll be there in a second, Chloe. No. Now. Now. Uh, Susie? Chloe, no. It won't open. I just put the chair down. You don't want to break anything. I need to break the glass. Then we can hear. Settle, Chloe. Stop. I don't want to hurt you. How about we just put the chair down and I'll take you for a walk in the garden? I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey. hey, Chloe. I think I might have found a message. I need a hand in the day room, Ta. What message? I don't know. The writing's really small. I haven't got my reading glasses. I told you the writing was tiny. I mean, it might just be dirt or a mark or something. I'm not sure. Let me see. Sorry I have to leave you. Don't you worry about me. Are you okay, Ba? I am fine. And I'm going to call Vijay and Rani. I think it's best I stay with him for now. Why? You're fine here. I think not. I know you slept on the sofa last night. And I think it's because you and Scotty have been arguing about me coming here to stay. Come and sit down for a minute. We weren't arguing about you, not really. We have some problems, but we can figure them out. Tell me. I want to help you, darling. Tell me even if it's about you know what. <laughs> well, there is no you know what. We barely even kiss these days. Oh, you poor thing. What is going on? Well, Scotty's become depressed, I think, about his brother. Sad, perhaps, but that is just normal family business. What else is going on? Well, last night he said that he didn't want to have children anymore. And what reason did he give? <laughs> he doesn't want to bring another generation of failures into the world. Oh. What? Scotty is still a young man. Some young men think too much. Meaning? Meaning, life is a risk. He is seeing everything that can go wrong and temporarily lost his courage. So what do I do? Hmm. Pity about the no, you know what. That is usually enough to win them around. Let me think it through. Have you done your talk yet? After lunch. Quiet day. Busy enough. 
And these beds? Uh, query POTS fracture, stabilising asthmatic and second degree burn to the forearm. You look like you could use an that. I'm fine. You want a fresh audience looking like that? I've given up trying to impress people. They've already made up their minds that I'm a clown, so who gives the stuff? Did you ever talk with your dad? Nope, he did his talk and accident stage left. He didn't stick around to hear you? Why would he? Anyway, he's catching a flight back to Christchurch later. Well, why don't you nip home, have a shower, smutten up? And mess with people's expectations. How about not reacting to what people might or might not think, especially your dad? If people need a suit to take you seriously, wear one. Whatever. <sighs> I need to appoint an acting charge soon. I'm wondering if you might be interested in stepping up sometime. Uh, but won't Shanti be doing that? I know you need to get the rest of your qualifications first, but if you're interested, my advice is get them. Wow. Well, um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, though I don't fancy telling Maya I might be doing her job. We'll give her our best wishes, yeah? Will do. You're giving Tanya acting charge. I'm just ensuring there's a pool of good staff qualified to step into charge or acting charge roles if and when they're needed. And in the meantime, are you going to ask me to fill in for Maya, or are you going to continue to do two jobs? I have to be seen to do the right thing. There are three or four staff who are at your level who could do the job. I'll talk it through with Callum later. You didn't have to play politics last time Maya was off. I was the natural choice, so what's really going on? I was going to tell you yesterday, but then your mother showed up. Maya's assessment of your work as acting charge wasn't entirely favourable. In what way? She felt as though you didn't have the... She thought you were a bit tentative and didn't take the authority role well. So you've decided that that option is close to me as well? Career, family, any other unilateral decisions you'd like to make on my behalf? Thanks for the help with Chloe. Oh, not at all. I deal with surgical patients mainly, but I've had my fair share of psych and ED. I used to work in ED for a bit. Oh, yeah? The on-call psych registrar seemed to take ages to arrive. Trying to get a consulting psychiatrist to see a patient in ED? No chance. <laughs> so tell me, how are you feeling? Apart from bored and worried about my boy that I still haven't done next week's rosters. Rosters, the bane of my life. <laughs> Look, um, I need a, a favour, just a phone call. My cell phone's kaput. To your family, because if you need to call them, you know you can. No, no, they put me in here. You see, this whole thing is a misunderstanding, but my partner can totally sort it out. Your partner? Yeah, Jay. Jay Copeland. She works at the IV bar, which is across the road from Shortland Street Hospital. Can you just tell her I'm here? Jay Copeland? Yeah, yeah, at the IV bar. She'll be worried about me, wondering where I am. She'll be frantic, so if you could just call her for me. I'm going to sort this now, OK? Oh, great. Look, I would really appreciate that. Jay will fix everything. <laughs> you pop back to your room, I'll make the call, and I'll come and meet you there, all right? Great. OK, remember, Jay Copeland, and I'll, I'll wait for you in my room. OK, thank you, Dr Wilkins. I've just spoken to Mum. She's in Florence, but she's going to catch a flight back as soon as she can. How was she? Upset? Worried? Everything you'd expect? I hate ruining her holiday, but to be honest, it'd be really good to have you back again. Yeah, I know. Hey, I just got a call from the unit. What did they want? They needed to check out Maya's partner, Jay Copeland. How she was killed? No, whether she was alive or not. Maya's been asking the nurse to call Jay so she can come and bail her out. Oh, poor Maya. You know, apparently she can't have been taking her meds. I thought they made her take them. They will now. I know you strong, silent types don't appreciate interfering mother-in-laws, but I'm here to try and offer advice if I can. About? Your marriage. <sighs> but don't be like that. I am an older and wiser woman, and I can help. I don't know what Shanti's told you, but... Everything. Your brother going back to prison, you and Shanti no longer being intimate, and now this business of you refusing to give her a family. But this is neither the time nor the place. I know you're very confused and feeling guilty at the moment, Scotty, but that will pass. Things are actually much simpler than you think. I think this is none of your business. With love and some hard work, you and my daughter will raise a family. Because it brings joy into the world and meaning into your lives. I know you're worried about not being a good father and about the big bad world, but you must put those worries out of your mind. OK, great. I'll think on that. To live is to risk one's life. To love is to risk one's heart. But can we do otherwise? 
all very true. Now I actually have to go. Scotty, I hope I haven't offended your pride speaking out like this. No, not at all. Did you get hold of Jay? Is she coming to get me? Maya, we realise you haven't been taking your medications. So what? That's not, that's not important. I shouldn't even be here in the first place. Because your symptoms are getting worse, what we're going to do now is give you your medications via a small injection. And no. To... Come on, Maya. The meds will help you sleep and help you get things straight in your mind. No. I refuse to let you do this to me. Sorry. You either take your tablets or I'll be forced to give you an injection. So, focused assessment with sonography and trauma has become synonymous with best practice overseas, as I hope it will here in New Zealand. I've demonstrated that it can be used routinely in action and in researching the efficacy of passing therapeutic drugs and hopefully one day genes through the blood-brain barrier. Thank you. What did they do with Kat? Uh, I have no idea, but his replacement looks good. <laughs> Any questions? In regard to ultrasound being used in conjunction with administering TPA, is there an increased risk of pulmonary embolism? Uh, short answer, yes, you'd use an FDA-approved diagnostic frequency. It's faster but gentler. It creates micro-vibrations on the surface area of the clot, which helped open up the surface area so TPA can bind and penetrate. Any other questions? OK, let's take a 20-minute break and we'll come back to Dr. Gabriel Jacobs' presentation on epilepsy research. Thanks, Doctor. You had a makeover at lunch? Yeah, well, apparently people don't listen unless they take you seriously. Wear a suit and all of a sudden it's, thanks, Doctor. Oh, whatever. Good presentation. OK, mm. don't go away just yet. Sure. Why did you freeze? Archness of the surgical unit at Children Street Hospital. My mother is Yvonne, my sister's a Tanya in the BMA. Partner is Jay. No, 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 no. Son, my son is Jay. Yeah, I'm a mother of JJ. Oh, you're kidding. Did you get any sleep? I sleep in my own bed. Great. You were supposed to be rested for your session. Look at you. I want to go home. First, you have another session with Dr. Wilkins. He'll assess your state. No! The only way you'll get out of here is if you keep talking to people. You know that. You're a nurse too, right? I can walk by myself. That's debatable. Is your mother here? Why? Are you going to treat her with contempt as well? She ambushed me in the middle of the camp and started on about our sex life. Thanks, Shanti. Thanks a whole bunch. Why should I apologize for talking to my mother? You won't talk to me in any meaningful way. Who am I meant to talk to? I don't know. Uncle Vijay? Auntie Rani? The guy that runs the dairy? Oh, great. Sarcasm. First you refuse to communicate and then you get angry. Really useful. So what am I meant to do? Stay silent? Should I take a vow of silence? Or would it make you happy if I just moved out altogether? Don't be ridiculous. But what is so ridiculous about that? All I seem to be able to do lately is make you angry, so why not leave you in peace? But you're not saying no, so tell me. What do you want? Not this. Not us fighting all the time. Do you still want me? Of course I do. I just can't seem to put a foot right. With Ty, with you, here at work, I'm, just, I'm trying to balance everything and it's all coming unstuck. Yeah, because you're forgetting that I'm your partner. One for all, all for one. Sorry. You just caught me. When you fight? Ten past six. How did your talk go? Uh, good. 
Yeah, I started out uh, juggling some fruit, keeping with the whole banana thing, and then I did a uh, short and interpretive dance dressed as Carmen Miranda to best illustrate the use of sonography in a trauma unit. Went down pretty well. Good. So I'll give you a lift, yeah? No need. Taxi will be here any second. Right. Do you think you'll ever stop being embarrassed by me? Do you think you'll ever stop acting like a 15-year-old? Probably. When I'm married and with kids, whatever, they say that knocks you into shape pretty quickly. Much like uh, basic training in the army. Sleep deprivation, up at dawn, revelli by a hyperactive toddler. It's about the size of it. Yeah. I, um, I wish I'd stayed around for my talk. I even dress nice. So I see. I gave a good talk. I am a good doctor, you know. I do know. I also know you were hurt by that ridiculous award you were given. It's like one person can't appear to be two things. You can't have a bit of fun and still be regarded as a contender. If you want people to take you seriously, you have to be all po-faced and up yourself. Like your father. Pretty much. Well, I'm not going to apologise for who I am. I do and say the wrong things and you react badly and vice versa. It's a pity, but there you go. And there you go. You don't have to win awards to impress me, Kip. Go on being your own man. Hmm. Awkward father, son, huh? <laughs> if you insist. Hey, and try not to drink so much beer. <sighs> Goodbye, Dad. Seriously, you're getting a beer gun. <laughs> have a safe flight, huh? Oh. I understand that uh, people sell things on the internet. Old skateboards, for instance. Vintage T-shirts. Mm, love to mum. My dear Jeffries, sister Tanya and sister Lippy. No, no, Lippy, my sister's lip. lip. Sorry, Maya. Doctor Wilkins got held up, but here he is now. I'll leave you two to talk. Let's get started then, shall we? Think again. Leave me alone! Not until you've paid for what you've done. Shortland Street. Tomorrow, TV2.